John Bell looked quite harmless, but he was a real Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde of physics. He was a talented particle physicist working in the Nobel CERN and a quantum rebel by night. He insisted on looking for a better, more complete quantum theory, more harmonious one. But how come he was so different from his colleagues? He was of proletarian background, this may be part of explanation. Maybe it was his, his Irish temper that didn't show up very often. In fact, on an everyday basis, he was quite a mild person. However, he could become furious when it came to discuss with other physicists the meaning of quantum physics. And the reason is because most physicists had never thought about this question and thought it was meaningless to ask about the meaning. They just were happy with shutting up, calculating, and getting predictions. And those who were trying to think about the meanings of quantum physics, in fact, uh, ended up attributing a godlike status to the observer that Bell could not accept. Tell me about his famous inequality. So John Bell knew that in quantum theory, you can only predict probabilities. Quantum theory doesn't tell you anything about what's going to happen on a, on a single measurement. It will tell you that if you do many measurements, let's say 40% of them will give a given result and 60% of them will give another result. That's all you get from the theory. Bell was not happy with this. He thought that physics should explain what happens every time in each single event. And he realized that this assumption can be tested. 